What's up everyone, I'm Venom Mystere, the Jake DeLome from StarCraft 2, and today I have a Foreigner vs. Foreigner game for you, which is a little bit of a change of pace because I've been uploading so much Korean vs. Korean action. So this game is on New Kirk, it was played on the ladder, it's between two root players, one of them is Katz down here in the bottom left, and his opponent is Puck, playing under a barcode account, Root Puck, a guy who I like to feature a lot on my channel. Puck has a stream, so does Katz, but Puck streams a lot. He's from the Midwest. He plays a lot of Disruptor-based styles. He's a versatile player. And ooh, a very close call there as Katz almost gets his hatchery blocked. But he gets to go hatchery first. Katz is a happy cat. Puck is going to scout around here, see that there's no hatch, and because it is Katz, a player who is known for unorthodox creative play, Puck is immediately going to go to this third because he is wary of the fact that Katz could go three hatch before pool. That's a very greedy build that Katz is known for. I've even seen Katz go for four hatchery before pool. This guy is just crazy. He's banana sandwich, the Peruvian monster, Katz. A very creative Zerg. Puck is just doing normal stuff. He's getting a cyber core after his gate. He's have his, he has a nice little wall in at the top. Of course, if you try to wall in down here right out the gate and your opponent cheeses, things can get tricky. Katz's expansion is about to finish. He'll transfer some drones out. He's looking very good in the way of mineral saturation, and he's still trying to take this third. And Puck delays it, so... That's a nice move, and Katz can still try to take an expo up here, if he really wants it. But he's going to start trying to destroy the pylon. And if we go back in Camp Puck, his expansion's about to finish. He's chronoing out an adept, so he's probably going to pressure here and try to kill some workers. On this map, the Overlord flight path is very awkward because of the way the natural ramps are positioned. So that means as Protoss, oftentimes if you open Stalker, you can kill a OV or two. You have to worry about this high ground right here, or this high ground over here sometimes. Puck is going to make a Stargate here and probably pressure with an Oracle or Phoenix and start to move out on the map with his Adept. This is a good move because he can start to keep an eye on the third base timing, which he is of course with the Probe as well. And he can look around for creep too. This adept is a very strong move. Really the only thing it doesn't do is kill overlords. If we go to Katz's vision, he did see the Stargate making. And Katz is trying to defend against a little bit of adept harass here. He's losing a few workers, two so far. These adepts two shot workers, so once you have two of them together, they basically attack once and a worker dies, similar to the Banshee. Katz is behind a little bit in workers, nothing significant. But Zerg really wants to be pulling ahead here. Puck is making a Twilight Council in his wall in. He only has a Stargate dutifully being Chrono boosted away. And an Oracle is the opening choice. So Puck has a couple of Adepts moving out on the map. What he might try to do is run in with the Adepts while he runs in with the Oracle. If Katz's Queens are out of position, that could deal devastating damage. Katz does not have any Spores. He's trying to go into Roach. He has a few extra Queens, but these Adepts, if they go in coordinated with the Oracle, could be very tricky. Twilight is being Chrono boosted. Resonating Glaives. Roach runs about halfway down. Here comes the Oracle. When the adepts are being phased in, and the adepts are going to snipe some workers, but here's the oracle just massacring workers here. Six, seven, eight, going up and up and up, and the adepts get some kills of their own. If we go to units, Katz is so far behind. And all it took was not having that queen in the main, and suddenly Katz is absurdly far behind. 25 measly drones to 44 probes. Puck has a fourth base on the way. Katz is going to have to do something drastic to try to come back. And we see six roaches in the production tab. If Katz had any, any desire to come back in this game in a macro fashion, he would have made drones. 
but I suspect Katz is going to go completely all in here. He's going to pressure the third. He has to kill this third. After he kills the third, he has to do more because quite frankly, Zerg has to be a base up and that's not enough. Katz really wants to be around even or a little bit ahead in drones and he's getting slaughtered because of all the workers that Puck killed. And Puck can phase out here with the depths, peek around, see what Caps has. He's going to go in actually and do a little bit of damage here. Remember, he does have resonating glaives, so he can fight. He can do a reasonable job. And he's going to run across the map. If Puck elects to take these shades, he's going to start a huge timer on, on Katz, and so he does. So now Katz has to commit, and Puck fires up a photon overcharge. Katz will kill it, and he'll probably kill the third. And Katz is going to do severe damage to the third and move into the natural, and boom, a roach is there, a few lings are there. But Katz is barely going to be able to kill this third, it looks like. And a lot of damage is being done here. These resonating glaive adepts are doing a great job. They're killing a lot. If we go to units lost, Katz is losing. And at this point, it starts to get really bad because queens and drones start to be what's lost. And suddenly, adepts are moved up to try to defend the third. And yeah, Katz might kill this. But it's going to be very slow because of Ravager's DPS. And they throw Krosa Biles. So nice macro or micro, excuse me, by cats to kill those flying units, but he's lost 25 workers, and if we go to the units tab, he now has 18 drones, and even if he kills this third, I think he's going to type out, because 18 drones is very, very few, and Puck barely loses his third, but at this point, cats he's destitute, really having no workers at all, any GG's, so if you like that, if you want to see more StarCraft 2, there's more on my channel, click on the little link of my channel, Venomous Stare, and you'll see plenty of it. Click on subscribe and click on the little bell notification so you don't miss any more videos.